welcome home. Welcome ladies and gentlemen, my name is Epoxy and there are a ton of questions to ask about Fallout 4 storyline and we don't know much about it. There's been a ton of speculation over the months of what truly happens at the beginning of the game. Whether it be the out of the park android theory that basing off the lore of androids and their role in Fallout it wouldn't make much sense. Then there is also the cryogenics theory, the theory of the protagonist being kept in cryostasis, which is really the only logical reasoning behind how he could have stayed alive and the same age for over 200 years. But I don't want to rule out anybody's theory. I'm bringing you this video to break down the logic behind both theories, and I may be a little bit more biased towards the cryogenics as I personally already know the lore behind both technologies, and I personally don't think that androids would be the best fit for the game based around emotion, story, and the need for caring for your character. It would be very anticlimactic and just an annoyance if you found out that you were an android because then that means all, everything was kind of basically fake. But let's stop with the opinion and jump into some facts. So to get a better understanding of androids in Fallout and to get a better understanding of why the android theory doesn't really add up, I'll need to give you some information on their known background and lore. So what better place than the official Fallout wiki? I could give you all the lore off my own head, but then there would be some people that would disregard it saying that it's just my own thoughts. So here is the Android background in Follow, right off the Follow wiki. Feel free to check the link down in the description below if you want to verify that I'm actually quoting it. So in quotes, the Institute in the Commonwealth has been able to create androids. These androids, according to Dr. Zimmer, have fake skin and blood and are programmed to simulate human behaviors such as sleeping and breathing. They can even eat and digest food realistically. The androids created in the Commonwealth have no rights and are viewed as nothing more than machines. They are often used as slaves." End quote. So that section of the wiki is telling us that androids don't just get to roam free as they like. However, some people argue the fact that maybe the Institute put them up to it. However, let's go back to their background. In quotes, any android that attempts to escape is hunted down by the Synth Retention Bureau, a special branch of the Commonwealth Police. Synths also will show up as random enemies in Fallout 4, these, however, are in worse condition than Armitage or Harkness were. Their synthetic skin is damaged due to exposure to the elements giving them a decayed ghoul-like appearance." End quote. So the official background and lore of Fallout all argues against this theory itself, hence why it's highly unlikely. But like I said, I don't want to officially rule anything out. Now to get a better understanding of cryogenics in Fallout, and to get a better understanding of why this is the most logical theory in my opinion, we'll once again need to take a look at some background and lore. So in Fallout, there are a total of 112 official vaults. No more, no less at least not officially constructed. As the project by Vault Tech continued, the technology of course within the vaults only got better. In Fallout 3 we gotta look at Vault 112. Now the official background of Vault 112 is quite interesting. In quotes, Vault 112 was one of the last to be constructed. The construction started in November 2068 and finished in June 2074. It was intended for only 85 occupants suspended in virtual reality world for indefinite duration of the vault's experiment. The vault was built to house and tend to the needs of the overseer Dr. Stanislaus Braun, creator of the Garden of Eden creation kit. Sorry if I butchered his name. Within it, Braun installed a virtual reality simulator and cryogenics system, initially containing several simulated utopias, the last of which being the Tranquility Lane simulation. The system should have permitted a select few to live a perfect life, virtually, if not practically forever." End quote. So the most interesting thing here is, Vault 112 included cryogenics, which are possible in the Fallout lore. Now here's where some people get confused thinking that this will indefinitely kill the occupant in cryopods if they do get out. In quotes, a Tranquility Lounger is a virtual reality-based stasis device, although the Tranquility Lounger is apparently able to keep its occupants alive indefinitely, in particular, halting or at least slowing the aging process, there will be some effects, and eventually the user will be too weak to survive without the pod's life support system, end quote. Some people take this as you will be weak over a very short period of time, however the loungers are largely self-contained and the vault has been operating without outside human intervention for over 200 years. 
That means the system works for that period and it's possible that users may not be weakened over that time period. So how this ties in is, in Fallout 4 we will be a part of Vault 111, another one of the last constructed vaults, and with the latest technology at the time. So this cryogenics system was built to last. So I think it's highly unlikely that they would just decay over three years and be too weak to get out. So I think that this would indeed be a viable option for the storyline in Fallout 4. And I think it is the more logical option over the Android as honestly it just doesn't add up for me personally. So those facts alone are why I'm personally believing the cryo theory over the android theory. However, I don't want you to think I'm shooting down any ideas, so if you have any other ideas for an explanation or of a scenario even with androids that somehow would work, let me know down in the comment section below. There will also be a straw poll link in the description for those who want to vote between the two theories for what one you think is more believable. But anyways guys, that's actually it for this video. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, please smack that like button down below and subscribe to join the good fight. It'd be super greatly appreciated. But until next time, this is Epoxy signing off.